Welcome to the Breadbox, the channel dedicated to Commodore computers. And today, we're looking at new software by Mega Style, the E64 Maxi Game Tool. This software allows you to change or delete the games that are on your carousel on the E64, and it's now available right now to download for free. So today I'm going to try it out, see how hard it is to try. There are instructions, but you know, let's just not worry about the instructions. I think I'll just stick with the quick guide that's on their website right here. And I'll try and add a few games. So by the quick guide or the quick start instructions, number one, we need to click the add button to choose the game and input some game info. So this means we need to get a bit of information together beforehand, uh, the description, the author, the composer, uh, to know the genre, and also the year. We need to also have a screen, two screenshots actually, two screenshots and also a cover image for the game as well. So I'm going to pull those together and then try and add six new games onto my VC64. Okay, let's download it right now and let's get it started. And hopefully it won't make too many mistakes, um, hopefully it's not going to be too hard. And if all else fails, I'll read the instruction book. Okay, so I've installed the C64 Maxi game tool. Again, this is by Megastyle, the link is in the description below. And I've already installed these games already, and that was really, really easy. So what I'll do now, after I've done my test runs, I just want to make sure I knew what I was doing before I actually did a video. Um, but like I said, it was very easy. What we're going to do is add another game right now. So what we need to do on the tool is click the Add button, type in the game information that you know about the game. For example, I'm going to do Arnie. This is a game I did a, a review on a few weeks back. And then all you have to do is put a little bit of information about it. Uh, I know Chris Butler, for example, is the one who created that game. The genre, that's pretty easy. You can work that one out pretty simply. Then you go into this little menu button here to choose the game itself. So that's the disk image or the tape image. In this case, I've got a D64 image. Then you go into this menu to choose the cover. This is the image that's going to be shown on the carousel. And I've got a... That's a bit strange. Okay, I do have an image of Arnie here in this folder on my computer, but I can't find it. I'll just do a quick search for it. And, uh, you know, it's definitely there. So that's the cover I'm trying to use. I'm just going to go into the properties to find out... Oh, okay. I've downloaded a JPEG file. Only PNG files can be used for the cover images and also the screenshots as well. So I'm just going to quickly convert that to a PNG file. Just using Photoshop to do that. And uh, I'm just using a, a template size for the image. And I'm going to save that as a PNG file. This means it will show up and I can use it for the carousel image. I'll just call it Arnie Cover. And I'll make sure I save it as a PNG file. Save it. Now I can go back into that directory and it should be there. But also when I go to click the image for the using as the cover, it should show up this time. Here it is here. So that now that's loaded as the image. I've already got the screenshots. I know those are PNG files. So I'm going to load those two screenshots. And now for the description, just write something about the game that can describe the game. And uh, you can be creative as much as you want. You can put anything in there actually, it's, it's pretty cool. Okay, so I'm just going to put a brief description about Arnie, the, the game. Uh, great game, really worthwhile playing. You can check out my video from a few weeks back, it's, it's a really good game. Just All you have to do now is press OK, and it's saved. Simple as that. So, what we do next, because now it's actually sitting there in the car uh, carousel down the bottom, next to the other games I've already done, you have to at least uh, try to install six new games at least, and up to 150 games when you do your firmware upgrade. And that's what we're going to do right now. So we're going to go into Make the Firmware Update. And now what we're going to do is we're going to click the, the Backup buttons here. Uh, it's definitely worthwhile clicking those. I did actually read that in the instructions. Um, in the instruction manuals that you can download, but don't, if you're just starting out, don't delete the games. 
because they um, basically delete all the current games on your D64. Now what they do is save that new firmware update onto a USB stick and also make sure you put that firmware update into the root directory of your USB stick. The first time I did this I actually put it into a subdirectory and I could not find the update. So now we're on the C64, I'm going to give it a go. So I've just clicked on to Arnie and the game looks like it's working perfectly. Uh, we'll just make sure it starts because the instruction notes which I end up downloading after all that um, it does say that some games might actually crash on the um, fast loader or the title page. This game is working perfectly fine. Great game like I mentioned. Check out my pre previous video about this game. Alright, we'll go on to another game that I've uploaded to make sure that works as well. This is great because eventually you can actually remove the games you don't want and just have all the games you do want on your computer which is fantastic. So this is Bruce Lee, the Return of Fury. Did you notice how much more louder that music was compared to the other one? I didn't change the volume, this is actually just a lot louder this, this game. This is another great game. Bruce Lee of course was a fantastic game about 1984. This is a fan made game by Mega Style. Free to download, great game to play. Just making sure it's actually going to load. Make sure it doesn't crash. Fantastic. Great thing about this game as well, I believe you can actually do three player if you have a special adapter for your Commodore 64. But I assume with the 64 because you've got extra USB ports, I assume you can have like three USB joysticks in there. Correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, we're going to try another game that I've uploaded to make sure that works. And that's Mayhem in Monsterland. If you haven't played this game before, if you're new to the Commodore 64 or the 64, this is a great game to play. It was actually made towards the end of the life of the Commodore 64, and they really push the Commodore 64 to its limits. It's a really good looking game, it's got great music, it's got great scrolling, and it's quite hard as well. It's Mayhem the Monster Land. Okay, so far it looks good. Let's make sure it starts. Great. Okay, on to the next game. When I do get time, I'm going to try and upload about 150 games to my D64. Well, here, here we go. Project Firestart. I did a video on this a few weeks ago as well. Fantastic game. Let's give it a go right now, see if this one works as well. Okay, this one's actually crashed my V64. I was a bit worried about this one. This was a, a D81 format uh, game. But in theory that should still work with the 64. Now I've just restarted it. I had to restart the whole machine, turn it off, turn it back on again. Turbocharge. Another great game that I did a video on a few weeks ago. Yep, exact same thing. That was also a D81 format game. I did try a few things to try and fix this, but then I realized what I should have done before I did the firmware update, I should have tested this out on Vice. If you double click any game that you've put onto the tool, it'll tell you whether or not the game works. So this is nothing to do with the machine. It's actually the game itself that I downloaded was faulty. So I tried that with Project Firestart, same thing. So now what I've done, I've changed the file to a CRT file and that worked perfectly. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change, just like I did with Project Firestart, I'm going to change the turbocharge game to a CRT file and hopefully that'll work fine. Now the reason why I'm doing this is because both these games are multi-load games and they take forever. But as a, a D81 or a CRT file game, there's no load time between the scenes. Okay, so that CRT files work perfectly on Project Firestart, so yep, I'll definitely change that also on Turbocharge, and that should fix the problem.
and also checking it on Vice before you do the firmware upgrade. That saves a lot of time and a lot of mucking around as well. So I should have done that the first time. Probably should have read the instructions, so definitely worthwhile doing that. So now I've restarted the computer. I've actually installed the firmware update with the updated versions of both Turbocharge and Pro Project Firestart. So let's give it a quick go to make sure it works. Straight away it looks like it's better. Okay, as long as it gets past this cracked section or this trainer section, uh, we should be fine. Should be all good. And that really gives it like a 100% success rate of the games I've tried. And I love the introduction. The, uh, if you haven't seen the introduction yet, definitely download the game. It is definitely worthwhile playing. Probably the best thing about it is the music and also that intro. Now I'm going to quickly just double test, double check the Project Firestart. It worked on Vice, but it's going to make sure it works on this carousel as well. Uh, obviously, obviously gone the wrong way. It's been closer to the other way. Uh, there is it. Oh, here we go. Let's give it a go to make sure it works. And as I mentioned, obviously then it's a... Uh, yep, great. It looks good. Yeah, okay. That's pretty much the results I got from Vice as well, so I think that's a success as well. So my first impressions of the C64 Maxi Game Tool by Megastyle is awesome. Definitely download it, give it a go. It's an amazing tool. And if you haven't done a firmware update on your V64 yet, I'll show you how to do it right now. So after follow the, following those instructions at the start of the video, you've installed the firmware onto the USB stick. All you need to do is go into your menu and go down to the System Information folder and go to Apply. And of course, just make sure you've got that firmware update in the root directory of your USB stick. Otherwise, it won't find anything. It won't have give the opportunity to apply any firmware updates. It'll take about two or three minutes. Uh, this little bar will keep on going from left to right, and then your C64 will restart, and you should be good. And all you have to do is go into Carousel, and of course, then you should have all your games there. I hope you enjoy it as much as I have. This is a great tool. Definitely download it, like I mentioned. The link is in the description below, and I'll see you next time.